Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stay until the end of the video where I have a bonus problem that is similar to this one which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so we have x to the power of 2 is equal to 3 to the power of x. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ln on both sides. So now I have ln x to the power of 2 is equal to ln 3 to the power of x. Now if I take the ln of something in the form a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this would equal b times ln a. So in this case, ln x squared, this is going to equal 2 times ln x. And ln 3 to the power of x, this is going to equal x times ln 3. Now I have 2 ln x is equal to x ln 3. So now if I divide both sides by 2x, on my left hand side these two cancel out, and on my right hand side these two cancel out. So I'd be left with ln x over x is equal to ln 3 over 2. Now, if I have something in the form e to the power of ln a, this is the same thing as a, and if I have something in the form e to the power of ln x, this is equal to x, because e to the power of ln, these two cancel out, so I'll just be left with whatever is left. So x here, this is the same thing as e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 3 over 2. So now I have ln x over e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 3 over 2. Now this is the same thing as ln x times 1 over e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 3 over 2. And 1 over e to the power of ln x, that's the same thing as e to the power of negative ln x is equal to ln 3 over 2. Now, if I take the W Lambert function of something in the form a times e to the power of a, this is equal to a. So in this case, I'll take, well before that, I'm actually going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So now I have negative 1 times ln x times e to the power of negative ln x is equal to negative 1 times ln 3 over 2. This would equal negative ln x times e to the power of negative ln x is equal to negative ln 3 over 2. Now I can take the w Lambert function on both sides. So now I have negative w of negative ln x times e to the power of negative ln x is equal to w of negative ln 3 over 2. And now I'll simply be left with negative ln x is equal to w of negative ln 3 over 2. So now I can move this negative 1 back to the front. So now I have ln x to the power of negative 1 is equal to w of negative ln 3 over 2. And now if I take e on both sides, I get e to the power of ln x to the power of negative 1 is equal to w of negative ln 3 over, or sorry, e to the power of w of negative ln 3 over 2. Now these two will cancel out, so I'll simply be left with 1 over x is equal to e to the power of w of negative ln 3 over 2, and this means that x is equal to 1 over e to the power of w of negative ln 3 over 2. So that is my answer. So right here we want to find the value of x. Now first off, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m 
times a to the power of n. So in this case, a is equal to 3, m is equal to x, and n is equal to 1. So 3 to the power of x plus 1, this is going to equal a to the power of m, so 3 to the power of x times a to the power of n, so 3 to the power of 1. So now I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 1. Now 3 to the power of 1, this is the same thing as simply 3. So now I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x times 3. And now I can divide both sides by 3 to the power of x. So then these two will cancel out. And I will be left with 2 to the power of x over 3 to the power of x is equal to 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a over b to the power of m. So 2 to the power of x over 3 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 3. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log of 2 over 3 to the power of x is equal to log 3. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this would equal b times log a. So in this case, log 2 over 3 to the power of x I can move this exponent x to the front of the logarithm, so this would equal x times log 2 over 3 is equal to log 3. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 2 over 3. So then these two will cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to log 3 over log 2 over 3. Now I can actually write this in two different forms. First off, the first form, if I have something in the form log a over log b, this is going to equal log base b of a. So meaning this would equal log base 2 over 3 of 3. So this is one way of writing this. Now, another way is if I have something in the form log a over b, this would equal log a minus log b. So log 2 over 3, that is going to equal log 2 minus log 3. So this is another way of writing this.